In the previous video, we looked at the basic introduction of limit and how we can find the limit of a function as it approaches any number. And in this video, we shall be looking at the left and right hand limit. But before we proceed, please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Assuming we have this question, the limit on uh, 1 over x as x tends to 1. To solve this question, all we have to do is to substitute 1 in this expression and this is equal to 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1. And this is our limit. But let's analyze what happened as x approaches 1. Let's use these charts. Here is our chart. This is limit, line for our limit. So we've solved that if x approaches 1, our limit is equal to 1. What if now we tend to move far, further away from x? Maybe we add 0 0.0.01. 0 0.01 0 .01 will give me as 1.0.01. 1 .001. So now we are trying to move far away from this one. And let's see what happens. If we plug in this, 1.001 in this expression and we'll get our limit to be 0 0.9990 so let's move further away again and we add 0 0.1 that is 1 plus 0 0.1 will give me Sorry, 0 0.01. I will give me 1.01. Then, if we substitute x to be this expression, in this expression now, we will get 0 0.990. What if we choose to subtract the same thing, 0 0.01 from this one? And that will give me. 0 0.999 and if we substitute x to be this in this expression i will have 1.001 and if we tend to move further away as well then it will sub we subtract 0 0.01 from 1, then I will have 0 0.99. And if we substitute x to be this in this expression, then we'll get 1.01. .01. At this point, we can say that as x moves from right, Towards one, then our limit as well gets closer to one. And as x moves from the left close to one, we can see that our limit approaches one as well. At this point, we can draw an inference by saying that we can approach our limit either from the left or from the right. Assuming I have the limits of f of x as x approaches b.
we will look at this in two ways. Either it approaches from left or it approaches from right. So for the first one, in a case where x takes those values which are less than b but very close to b, then we can say that x approaches b from the left. So and we can write the expression to be in this form x approaches b minus so let's see if we can change the limit by assuming x to be equal to x plus x minus h x minus h if we substitute x to be this expression in this function then we have that the limit f into x minus h now it's no longer at x approaches b but h now approaches zero but in a case where x takes value which are greater than b but are very close to b then we can say that x is approaching b from right well that is number two x is approaching b from right then we write that expression to be f of x as x approaches b from the right which is plus now if we assume x to be now x plus h then this is the limit f into x plus h as h tends to zero see the difference between the two as it approaches from the left we assume x to be x minus h and as it approaches from the right we assume x to be x plus h consider this example the limit of x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 as x approaches 3. We are going to solve it using the left and the right hand limit. For the right hand limit, 1. For the right hand limit, we have that this is the limit of x, limit as x approaches from the right hand, 3 plus of x minus 3, x minus 3. So in this case, remember, for the right hand, we always assume x to be equal to x plus h. And this h, h is usually greater than 0. But our x is 3. Now we have that x is equal to 3 plus h. This implies that the limit as h tends to 0 of x here is 3 plus h, 3 plus h minus 3 divided by 3 plus h minus 3. If it now open these brackets, we have x, the limit 
h tends to 0 of 3 plus h minus 3 divided by 3 plus h minus 3. So the 3 here will cancel 3 and 3 here will cancel 3. We have that limit as h tends to 0 is now h divided by h and this is equal to the h magnitude is same thing as h the limit h tends to 0 h divided by h so at this point you can't just plug in h to be 0 because we already know that h is always greater than 0 so what we, would, we should do is we divide h divided by h will give us 1 and this is our limit for the right hand row as we approach it from the right hand side if we choose to approach from the left hand side we have that the limit as x tends to 3 x minus 3 and x minus 3 so in this case we assume our x to be equal to x plus x minus h and this is equal to x here is 3 3 minus h therefore we, this is limit as h tends to 0 now is 3 minus h minus 3 divided by 3 minus h minus 3. If you choose to open these brackets, we have that the limit as h tends to 0 is 3 minus h minus 3 and 3 minus h minus 3. Then this negative 3 will cancel positive 3 same thing here so we are left with the limit as h tends to 0 this minus h divided by minus h and this is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 the h minus h here will give me h divided by minus h and here as well h is always greater than zero so we can't plug in h to be zero so, so the best thing is we divide h by h and this will give me minus one which is our limit this implies that the right hand limit which is the limit as x tends to 3 plus h magnitude of x minus h, x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is not equal to the limit of that of left hand x tends to 3 negative x minus 3 and x minus 3 here we were, we got the the right hand limit to be 1 and this is not equal to this side we got the left hand limit to be minus Consider this second example, a limit 
x approaches 1 x squared plus 3x plus 1 so we are going to solve it using the left and right hand rule as well so for the right hand rule right hand limit right hand limit we have that the limit x tends to 1 this x square plus 3x plus 1 and we have to change the limit by assuming x to be equal to 1 plus h so substituting this in this expression we have that the limit as h tends to 0 this will give me 1 plus h all squared plus 3 into 1 plus h plus 1 and let's open these brackets we have that 1 plus h square is same thing as 1 plus h 1 plus h and this will give me 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 1 multiplied by h will give me h h multiplied by 1 is, is 1 sorry h then h multiplied by h will give me h squared so this is equal to 1 plus 2h plus h squared and 3 into 1 plus h it's same thing as 3 multiplied by 1 will give me 3 3 multiplied by h is 3h so substituting this and this to our original expression we have that the limit h approaches 0 1 plus 2h squared 2h plus h squared plus 3h 3 plus 3h plus 1 if we substitute h to be 0 in this equation we have that this is equal to 1 plus 2 into 0 plus h 0 squared plus 3 plus 3 into 0 plus 1 so this this and this will go we are left with 1 plus 3 plus 1 and this will give me 4 for the left hand limit we have that the limit as x approaches one from the left side of x squared plus 3x plus 1 and we assume x to be 1 minus h and this is as the limit as h approaches 0 is 1 minus h squared plus 3 into 1 minus h plus 1 so then 1 minus h squared is same thing as 1 minus h and 1 minus h so this is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 will give me 1 1 multiplied by this minus h h multiplied by this minus h and h minus h multiplied by minus h will give me plus h squared and this is equal to 1 minus 2h plus h squared for 3 into 1 minus h and have that this is equal to 
3 multiplied by 1 will give me 3 and 3 multiplied by minus h will give me 3h minus 3h then substituting it back to this equation we have that the limit as h tends to 0 for 1 minus 2h plus h squared plus 3 minus 3h plus 1. Simplifying further, we have that the limit as h tends to 0 is 1 plus 3 plus 1 will give me 4. Minus 2h minus 3h will give me minus 5h plus h squared. So if we substitute h to be 0, 4 minus 5 into 0 plus 0 squared and this will give me 4 for the left hand limit therefore the right hand limit which is the limit as x approaches 1 from the right x squared plus 3x plus 1 is equal to the left hand limit as x approaches 1 from the left x squared plus 3x plus 1 we got this to be 4 and we got this to be 4 so in conclusion 1 if the right hand limit is not equal to the left hand limit then we can say that the limit does not exist the limit does not exist number two if the right hand limit is equal to the left hand limit we can say that the limit exist this implies that our example one the limit does not exist and for example two the limit exists thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any question don't hesitate to email us at science at gmail.com thank you